All right, now we're really going to be getting into an in-depth question. Let's read this about this, this blue and red car. How does the average speed of the blue car for the first 10 seconds compare to its speed at t equals 5? So we're comparing an average rate of change with an instantaneous rate of change. Now, it's actually not going to be too hard. You're just going to find each individual um, rate of change and just compare, compare them. So to find the first rate of change, we will just find the instantaneous since it's just one value. So the derivative of this, uh, I'm actually, no, we'll go ahead and find the uh, average rate of change, sorry. So T1 and T2 is 0 and 10 because we're finding average rate of change from 0 to 10. Now remember, when you find the average rate of change, you plug into the original. So 0 means the car hasn't gone anywhere after 0 seconds. Then when we plug in 10, we get 50. So the car's gone 50 feet after uh, 10 seconds. We do change in uh, distance over change in time. We get the average speed is 5 feet per second after over 10 second period, right? So that's the average speed of the blue car. And when we find the instantaneous rate of change at 5, guess what? We get exactly the same thing. We get 5 feet per second at t equals 5. So guess what? Its average rate of change is equal to its instantaneous rate of change at t equals 5. So here's our answer to our question. The average speed of the blue car from t equals 0 to t equals 10 seconds is the same as the split, its instantaneous speed at t equals 5. And this, this is going to be kind of like foreshadowing of um, a theorem we're going to learn in calculus. Here's what it would look like on the graph. You know, the slope of the secant line from 0 to 10 is going to be exactly the same as the slope of the tangent line at t equals 5. Pretty interesting, right? Pretty interesting. Uh, let's see what that race is going to look like. Let's just take the red car out of the picture here. Or actually, well, we can't just do the red car. We can't we? We have to do the red and the blue. Okay, well, we'll just go 0 to 10 and just focus on the blue car. Okay. And all we're going to see, just focus on the blue car down here, is that at t equals 5, we've already passed that, it is actually, it was going the sp same speed as its average speed, which is 5 feet per second. But again, I think the graph here uh, really explains these slopes are equal. There's, the secant line is going to be parallel to the tangent line. So that's it for this example. If you have any questions about it or instantaneous or average rates of change, let me know.